Welcome to the Summer 2021 Commencement Ceremony for the Galen College of Nursing MSN and Online RNBSN programs. Please welcome our Dean of the RNBSN program, Dr. Kathy Burlingame. Well, thank you. Welcome students, family of the graduates, friends, active duty and retired military personnel, faculty and staff of Galen College of Nursing to our virtual MSN and RN to BSN program commencement ceremony. My name is Dr. Erling Game and I'm the Dean of the online RN to BSN program. Today, we are celebrating this significant academic and professional accomplishment for you, our MSN and RN to BSN students. Commencement marks a milestone in your life. Finishing your degree, or advancing to the next step in another degree is one more step in your lifelong professional nursing journey as a learner. As you begin this new journey, let us pause to thank your parents, family, friends, anyone who supported you along your journey, encouraged you to achieve this goal. So if they're in the room with you or watching from another location, please send them a real or a virtual hug a high five, or a sincere thank you. I truly believe that commencement is a milestone for the whole family. This ceremony is very special as it is the first commencement for the Master of Science in Nursing program. My pleasure to introduce Dr. John Lundin to you. Dr. John Lundin serves as a professor and the MSN program director at Galen College of Nursing. Dr. Lundin was instrumental in the creation and successful launching and accreditation of the graduate program. Dr. Lundin's educational background includes an ASN degree from the University of West Alabama, an MSN degree in nursing education from Sanford University, and an EDD degree in instructional leadership in nursing education from the University of Alabama. Dr. Lundin is also credentialed as a certified nurse educator. He is a published scholar and has served nationally as a governor at large, National League for Nursing's Board of Governors. Previously, he served as a member of the CNE Certification Commission and as a chair of the CNE Test Development Committee. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Lundin for some opening remarks. Thank you very much, Dr. Burlingame. First, let me say welcome to everyone in attendance today. Uh, there, are a few, there are a few things more exciting than a commencement, and we are so proud of each and every one of you. You have put in many hours, struggled through competing deadlines, sacrificed time with family and friends, and probably questioned what you were doing and whether it was worth it or not. Well, you made it, and yes, it was worth it. This ceremony is a public acknowledgement of your hard work and sacrifice. You are surrounded by others who have journeyed along this path with you and who have supported you through everything. Today is indeed a momentous occasion, not only in the life of you graduates, but also in the life of this institution as well. This ceremony marks the first graduation for Galen's graduate degree programs. Our first cohort of students enrolled in the fall of 2019 and they persevered through the challenges and have made it to the end. We are so pleased to present our first class of master's prepared nurses. Each commencement is special, but we are especially excited about this next step in the life of Galen College of Nursing as we grow as an institution and provide new career opportunities for practicing professional nurses. Thank you, Dr. Lundin. Next, I would like to introduce Dr. Joan Fry, Galen's academic president. She is going to introduce a very special guest. Dr. Fry. 
Congratulations, Galen graduates. We are so, so happy for you to have completed your studies in nursing education. Today, I have the honor to introduce our guest speaker to start these ceremonies. Lisa Frank is an award-winning documentary producer who oversees the planning, execution, and delivery of groundbreaking creative projects from feature length films to short documentaries on global issues for students worldwide. She has spent the last 12 years in collaboration with photographer and filmmaker, Carolyn Jones, to produce the book, film, and website that comprise the American Nurse Project, as well as the feature documentary, Defining Hope, which was broadcast on PBS stations nationwide most recently. The film that was shown was called In Case of Emergency about the indispensable role of emergency nurses pre and post COVID pandemic. Ms. Frank is a theater major graduate from Northwestern University. Please help me to welcome Lisa Frank. You did it. Congratulations, Galen College of Nursing students. I am so honored to be with you today and be among the first to congratulate you on this incredible accomplishment of completing your nursing school program. I am not a nurse. Uh, I don't think I could ever be a nurse. I don't think I could make it through the chemistry. But I am a documentary filmmaker and I have spent the last decade along with my partner, Carolyn Jones, traveling all across the country, meeting hundreds of nurses from all walks of life. And what I can tell you from that experience is that you have entered truly one of the most important professions in the world. It's one of the only jobs I can think of where every day you have a chance to impact somebody's life. And not just in a small way, you have a chance to impact the entire course of their health and their life. And you won't even realize it. You will go into the next patient's bed and the next room and care for the person that needs you. But that patient and that family will go home and they will remember you for the rest of their lives because of the way you cared for them and the way you got them through what was probably the hardest thing they've ever had to deal with in their life. And that is so healing. So I hope that you can go out into the world and remember that if you have a hard day, just think about every patient that you're getting a chance to interact with. You are making a huge impact that will have a ripple effect into their entire community. It's a truly wonderful thing to see, and it's so healing and so important for our country. So I want to thank you for entering this remarkable profession. And again, I just want to say congratulations. You've done it. Dr. Fry and Ms. Frank. Next, I would like to introduce Dr. Karen Burke, one of our highly respected r and BSN full-time faculty. She is going to present the Dr. Tracy Ortelli Leadership in Nursing Awards. Dr. Burke. Thank you, Dr. Burlingame. Uh, the Dr. Tracy Ortelli Leadership in Nursing Award honors Dr. Tracy Ortelli, a leader in nursing education, role model, mentor, and scholar. Dr. Ortelli was instrumental in the initial development of both the pre-licensure BSN and RN to BSN programs. This award was created to recognize BSN students who demonstrate outstanding leadership qualities throughout their RN to BSN program by inspiring others, exemplifying personal integrity, serving as a role model and advocate and upholding Galen College of Nursing's eye care principles of inclusivity, character, accountability, respect, and excellence. Award recipients are selected from a group of their peers and are nominated by their capstone faculty. The May recipient of the Dr. Ortelli Award is Charles Schufer. Mr. Schufer's completed an educational education on the unintentional weight loss of residents in an extended care facility. Mr. Schufer, who is also a registered dietitian, included not just nursing in his education to address this issue, he included kitchen, custodial, and laundry staff 
making this a true team effort to address the problem. The July 2021 recipient of the Dr. Ortelli Award is Selena Rechtenwald. Ms. Rechtenwald's project was completed on creating a job aid that used step-by-step -step directions on how to place a pediatric patient in Buck's traction. This job aid was an interprofessional uh, collaboration and included members of the orthopedic surgical team as part of the approval process. The project led to a recommendation letter to be a part of the hospital's professional nursing contribution program. Congratulations to both award recipients. Dr. Burlingame. Thank you so much, Dr. Burke. Next, Dr. Lundin will introduce our commencement speaker. Dr. Lundin. Thank you again, Dr. Burlingame. Yes, it is my pleasure to introduce our speaker for today's commencement ceremony, Dr. Tracy Ortelli, Executive Vice President of Teaching and Learning Innovation here at Galen College of Nursing. You heard a little bit about her just now, but let, please indulge me and let me give you a little bit more about Dr. Ortelli. Dr. Ortelli joined Galen in 2008 and served as the college's first Vice President for Academic Affairs from 2008 to 2014. While in this role, her work included providing leadership for the development, implementation, and evaluation of the college's nursing programs, establishing a common curriculum and test development process, a college-wide committee structure, and the college's faculty rank and promotion system. More recently, Dr. Ortelli led the faculty in the initial development of the pre-licensure BSN and MSN programs. Prior to joining Galen, Dr. Ortelli worked for the National League for Nursing, where she assumed primary responsibility for the creation of the Certified Nurse Educator Program and was a co-author of the seminal work, The Scope of Practice for Academic Nurse Educators in 2005. This was the first monograph to define the history, values and beliefs, theoretical framework, scope, competencies, and standards of academic nursing education practice. Dr. Ortelli has published seminal research on the performance of candidates who took the CNE examination, and her research has served as a catalyst for other scholars. Dr. Ortelli's current contributions to the profession include serving as the president of the New Jersey League for Nursing, as an appointed member of the Nurses on Boards Coalition State and National Integrated Strategies Work Group, and as the coordinator for the Nursing Resources column, which is published in the American Journal of Nursing. Dr. Ortelli is a member of the Sigma Theta Tall International Honor Society in Nursing, was inducted into the NLN Academy of Nurse Educator Fellows in 2012, and will be inducted into the American Academy of Nursing this October. She obtained a PhD in nursing from Nova Southeastern University, a Master of Science degree in nursing from Columbia University, and a Bachelor of Science in nursing degree from The Ohio State University. Please welcome Dr. Tracy Ortelli. It is my privilege and honor to bring greetings and to congratulate our RN to BSN graduates and the inaugural class of our MSN nurse educator graduates. The reason I say this is a privilege is because I fully understand that I am among practicing nurses who have successfully earned another degree while balancing all that is required to work during a pandemic, have a family life during a pandemic, and attend school during a pandemic. What you have accomplished requires a level of grit, resilience, and determination that goes well beyond what somebody normally endures when returning to school as a working professional. And this sets you apart from the majority of those in the profession who have gone before you. You know, many times when talking to a group of graduates, the speaker will reflect on his or her career and attempt to offer some meaningful pearls of wisdom. Over the years, I've shared with graduates that this profession has taught me more than I could ever imagine about the importance of caring for others, compassion, connection, empathy, honesty, integrity, collaboration, clear communication, and careful listening. 
Nursing has taught me that life is fragile and hope is powerful. I've also learned that maintaining a sense of humor and having the mindset to show up as the best version of yourself each and every day is a superpower. What is extraordinary about each of you is that you committed to advancing your education during a period in our history that was never fully anticipated or carefully planned. This pandemic has challenged the nursing profession in ways we could never imagine, and its impact is yet to be understood. If someone were to ask you to try and explain what this has been like, I imagine that some of you might say that it's like participating in a real life disaster drill every day for the past 18 months, and the end date is yet unknown. Despite this, you have chosen now to advance within a workforce of nearly 4 million nurses. 4 million. And this number of nurses, educated at all levels, still isn't enough. What does that say about the importance of the nation's largest health profession when 4 million of us isn't enough? And what does this graduation, which we are celebrating today, say about each of you? My educated guess is you are all on a path that will make this profession better than it was when you entered it. Some of you will focus on providing direct patient care. Others will lead other nurses. And seven of you, our inaugural MSN class, will educate future nurses. It's inspiring to see that each one of the MSN graduates has a connection to Galen which exemplifies the very reason why we created this program. That is to allow our faculty and our graduates to continue their educational pathway. Of these students, two are Galen faculty, and one of the Galen faculty members is also a Galen graduate. Six of you have graduated from our RN to BSN program. Three of you are graduating from Galen for the third time. And one of you started your educational journey in our PN program and are now earning your fourth degree from Galen. Wow. On behalf of the college, please know that we are honored that you have chosen Galen to advance your education. We consider this a serious responsibility and we are inspired to be such an integral part of your educational family tree. I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge that many of our RN to BSN graduates have also previously attended Galen. And some of you are part of our new blended family now that we are a part of HCA. Thank you one and all for choosing Galen. We are so proud of you and inspired by you. For those of you who have earned more than one degree from Galen, I suspect that you've experienced that the college has evolved since you first arrived. One of the things I've recognized in my years of being a nurse is that our profession evolves either so slow that it's barely noticeable and it seems like things will never change, or it feels like things are moving so fast that it's hard to fully comprehend. I think it's obvious which phase of the continuum we're in right now. What I've come to know is that because of the type of work that we do, most of the greatest advances in our profession come during a time of crisis. The reason for this is because it's during a time of crisis when nurses are needed most. In the past, it was war, and now it is a pandemic. As we continue to forge ahead in this pandemic, we're living history as it's being made, and it's hard to recognize history in the making. But make no mistake, we're in the middle of making history. As each of you continue in your career, you will continue to shape nursing's history as you improve the health and well being of patients, as you make advances in establishing health equity, as you lead others, and as you educate our future workforce for an unprecedented future. I'm inspired when I think about the important and amazing things each one of you will do. 
Because I know that even though I don't know you personally, I know that as you enter into this next phase of your professional journey, you will bring with you your grit, your determination, your resilience, your knowledge, your compassion, and your unique superpowers, all of which give me hope for the future of this profession. You have shown what you are capable of by virtue of the accomplishments that brought you here today. If you will allow me, I would like to give you one pearl of wisdom, and that is please take the time to celebrate and savor this accomplishment. Making space for recognition, celebration, and joy is a gift that you will give yourself and those who have lived this journey with you. These special moments are also the magic pixie dust that somehow energizes you to forge ahead when you feel like you've given everything you have and you know there is so much more to do. In closing, I would just like to take one more opportunity on behalf of the college and our board of directors to congratulate you. Thank you for teaching us what it's like to be a nursing pioneer in the 21st century. Please know that we look forward to all that you will accomplish as you create what is yet to be created. Wow, thank you, Dr. Ortelli. That was inspiring, articulate, and exceptional. Thank you. you it was a, a joy to hear you share these words of wisdom and your pearl that I have embraced in my journey also, that it's good to and celebrate. Well, Dr. Lo, would you please present the MSN graduates? Yes, it is my honor to present and to recommend the graduates of the Galen College of Nursing's graduate program. Acting on the recommendation of the faculty and by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the board of directors and the academic president of Galen College of Nursing, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree of Master of Science in Nursing with a concentration in nursing education with all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Welcome to the Guild of Scholars. The candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Nursing, Nurse Educator Option are Christina Bowling, Dionza Carpenter, Catherine Cochran, Stephanie Cook, Krista Glass, Doris Sanchez, Kana Stafford, Thank you, Dr. Lundin, and congratulations to the MSN graduates. Now is the moment that the BSN graduates have been waiting for. On behalf of Galen Nursing's Board of Directors, Trustee President Dr. Joan Fry, the RN to BSN faculty, I hereby confer upon you the degree earned with its rights, honors, and responsibilities of a bachelor's nurse. Stephanie Pugh, one of our esteemed and essential student support liaisons, will read the RN to BSN graduates' names. For the participants that are following the program, please note that Ms. Pugh will read first the June graduates in alphabetical order, and then will read the August graduates in alphabetical order. Finally, in the program, a number of RN to BSN graduates have distinguished themselves with their academic achievements. Students who have earned an overall GPA of 3.5 to 3.74 received the academic honor of cum laude. 
students who have earned a GPA of 3.75 to 3.89 have received the distinction of cum laude. And students who earned a GPA of 3.9 to 4.0 received the highest honor of sumu cum laude. So even though we cannot see you on the camera, would all the students who are graduating with honors please stand in the room with your family and let's give them a round of applause. So thank you so much. Now, Miss Stephanie Pugh, would you please read the names of the graduates? The graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, June 2021 graduates are Mabel Adagbon, Zanab Al Rafai, Flor Ines Atua, Aaron M. Babbitt, Velma Bible, Brandon Bach, Destiny E. Bowden, Kimberly D. Brooks, Brittany Brown, Daniel Thomas Brown, Carla R. Burnett, Elizabeth A. Butler, Ivy E. Carrico, Ziamara Casillas Rodriguez, Marie N. Charles, Kimberly Cheng, Jennifer Cheatwood, Heather Christensen, Michelle L. Clark, Tabitha Clark, Thalia Clark, Jacob E. Cochran. Alyssa A. Collins. Angela Colon. Holly R. Conrad. Brianna Corbet. Adicelli Cruz. Shelby Devino. Sasha N. Engel. Lisa M. Falcon. Leanne R. Fleming. Danae V. Flint. Alicia N. Flores. Lacey N. Franco. Judy A. Fugate. Brandon D. Garland. Ariel George. D. A. George. Deborah L. Gonzalez. Amanda M. Goodman. Anika Green. Crystal J. Guadalajara. Nioka S. Guillory. Brittany Haynelt. Sierra D. Harris. Ebony L. Harris. Melanie A. Hausfeld. Lori D. Hernandez. Nicole B. Hernandez. Jamie Lee Howard. Emma C. Ives. Ryan J. Ives. 
Randy R. Jacobs. Kimberly I. Johnson. Kendra Johnston Garcia. April D. Jones. Brenda Lanier. Jimin Lee. Kaylin Loudy. Ryan S. Lucas. Patricia T. Mendez. Jasmine Milan. Brittany A. Moore. Paula Mott. Shannon A. Murphy. Hannah L. Nazer. Jasmine E. New. Ashley E. Newsbomber. Stephanie Olvera. Pamela Padilla. Megan M. Patterson. Vanessa Ramirez. Mady L. Ramos. Kevin Ratliff. Jennifer A. Reed. Kelsey Riley. Genevieve Rodriguez. Virginia M. Rosas. Carly R. Ross. Kira N. Salisbury. Christy Sawyer. Charles J. Schufer. Lisa M. Silva Guimarães. David Simon. Veronica Sims. Erica Smith. Shauna R. Smith. Matthew St. Martin. Heidi C. Stahl. Joseph Stern. Justine Tolliver. Jessica L. Villanueva. Jesusa M. Villarreal. Kimberly N. Waller. Nikita T. Watts. Anthony Wright. Tabitha L. Yates. Crystal G. Yauger. Rebecca S. Yost. The graduates for Bachelor of Science in Nursing August 2021 graduates are Cheryl Adams, Blanca Aguilar, Brenda Alvarez, Morgan Arnold. Junvi Barami, Jade Bishop, Natasha Blanton, Candy Bonman, J. 
Janine Branch. Pamela Braun. Christina Browning. Chelsea Burton Stillwell. Urian Calderon. Kirsten Cameron. Susan Cardosa. Faith Caudill. Rebecca Cherian. Stacy Sizek. Nancy Coleman. Jessica Cook. Craig Copeland. Catherine Cornelius. Mariah Cortez. Catherine Cross. Jamie Del Bosque. Carrie Dorns. Cheyenne Duncan Stricker. Gwendolyn Dyson. Stephanie Encarnacion. Elias Garza. Angelina Gentry. Latoya Gibson. Amber Gilbert. Jessica Goodwin. Brittany Hager. Aaron Hamilton. Casey Hartzell. Amber Henry. Kelly Hinklin. Emily Hauser. Melissa Ilya Costas. Dora Inskip. Michelle Iregas. Shayna Jackson. Brittany Johnson. Jamil Jones. Jessica Jones. Sasha Kidd. Amanda Knapp. Kayla Lambert. Timothy Lambert. Ashley Lance. Giselle Leva. Whitney Looney. Allison Lovett. Elaine Madrid. Leith McNair. Caitlin Mirabux. Dylan B. Miller. Latoya Milner. Mary Montez. Ashley Moore. Brandon Norris. Courtney Norris. 
Joseph Harris. Rebecca Pegg. Michelle Perrin. Fong Pham. Brittany Pearson. Stephen Quatch. Rolando Rangel. Selena Rechtenwald. Lisa Regino. Heather Reyes. Jermaine Richards. Jennifer Ridgeway. Crystal Rivera. Jennifer Roberts. Katrina Rojas. Michelle Ross. Krista Rudd. Rachel Russell. Angela Sadler. Taylor Shermer. Mecca Schmitz. Kristen Schutte. Jane Scott. Sean Sledge. Laura Smith. Samantha Snipes. Megan Stoops. Kenneth Tolls. Adrian Town. Yugozi B. Yusoro. Iwana Wallachek. R.J. Walker. Jasmine Weathers. Catherine Woodward. Haley Wright. Michelle Young. Well, thank you, Stephanie. I think you had one of the most challenging roles today and you did it so well. So thank you for reading these student names for us. Next, I'd like to introduce Dr. Gina Rivera, our RNBSN program director. She is going to be a faculty member who's going to lead you in the nursing edge. For the graduates, they may not recognize Dr. Rivera's name. Dr. Rivera Carney, was recently married, and that change might have occurred since you left the program. Additional background includes a PhD in nursing from Malloy College, a post-master's certificate in advanced practice holistic nursing from New York University, a master's degree in nursing from Yale University, and a bachelor's degree in nursing from Bowling Green State University. He has over 30 years of clinical practice experience and has developed expertise in the area of advanced practice holistic nursing. She served as a board member of a chapter of Sigma Theta Tau and was recently appointed to a board called New Directions for Nurses. She has obtained for four major health promotion activities with the March of Dimes in the New York State Health Department. Dr. Rivera. Thank you kindly, Dr. Burlingame. And I'd like to just first begin by saying a most hearty and sincere congratulations to all of our graduates. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Monica Potasek, one of our full-time nursing faculty who has been with us at Galen College of Nursing since 2018. Over the course of her nursing career, she has held numerous clinical and academic appointments serving in a wide variety of roles and clinical specialties, 
which include holistic health assessment, population and community health, nursing, as well as Disney leadership, healthcare informatics, finance, budgeting, and economics, just to name a few. Dr. Potasik received her Bachelor of Science in Nursing with honor from North Dakota State University, her Master of Science in Nursing from Grand Canyon University, and her Doctor of Nursing Practice from Chamberlain University. She holds national certifications in executive nursing practice from the American uh, Organization of Nurse Executives, a certified nurse educator from the National League for Nursing, certified case manager from the Commission for Case Management, and certified professional in healthcare quality from the National Association of Healthcare Quality. She has presented and published her work, conducted research, and has served as a mentor, consultant, and advisor to countless individuals as part of her professional nursing journey. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Monica Potasik, who will lead our recitation of the nursing pledge for today's ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Rivera. Would all nurses please join me now in reading the nursing pledge. I solemnly pledge myself in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession with integrity. I will endeavor to maintain and elevate nursing standards, both as science and art. I wholeheartedly recognize the importance of quality standards of care and of personal accountability. I will devote myself to the protection, healing, and welfare of those committed to my care. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and will respect the privacy of medical information. I accept a duty to work for the improvement of health in the communities in which I live and work. I will act with compassion in ethical matters. I will not take or knowingly administer any harmful substance. I commit to interdisciplinary collaboration and lifelong learning. I fully acknowledge the seriousness of responsibility integral to the nursing profession and the significance of commitments I pledge today. Thank you, Dr. Tassik. Dr. Lundin, please share any closing remarks. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Rellingham. Just a final congratulations to all of our graduates. This is a tremendous accomplishment in your professional careers. And while it may take some time to sink in, please know that you have just opened the door to more opportunity and advancement in and for our profession. The term commencement means the beginning of something. This commencement is the celebration of your new beginning. While you close the door on one chapter of your professional journey, so many new things await you as you begin to open a new chapter, and we are so excited to see that unfold for you. Our vision at Galen states, we change the life of one to care for the lives of many. You will now each go out into the world with a newfound knowledge of your profession and will touch hundreds and thousands of lives, many of whom you may never even see or speak to. I challenge you to consider the weight of this as you interact with your patients and their families, your students, your colleagues, and even strangers. You are all now representatives of Galen College of Nursing, and we expect great things from you. Do not let this be the end, though. 
commit to lifelong learning and professional advancement. Now more than ever, the world needs professional nurses and nurse leaders to guide healthcare delivery and practice. You now join the ranks of those leaders and have been prepared to manage the challenges that this responsibility holds. Go out and do good in this profession and in the world. Congratulations to all graduates. Thank you, Dr. Lund. Graduates, on behalf of the college, it is an honor to serve you and to celebrate with you at this commencement ceremony. All of our staff, all of our faculty have done their very best and empower you for this next stage in your career. Please do stay online to watch a brief montage of video remarks from some of the faculty and staff who want to share their congratulations and best wishes to you, our 2021 graduates. Thank you again for watching and attending and congratulations. My name is Allie Risley, adjunct faculty member in the RN to BSN program. Words cannot describe how incredibly impressed I am with everyone's strength and resilience during these very challenging times we're living in. Don't forget, you'll always have this in your pocket. Use your strength and experience to your advantage and take on the world. Nursing needs more people like you. Great job and best of luck in the future. What a great day and what a great accomplishment. I know you've all faced different setbacks or obstacles, but you did it, you overcame. I do hope you take some time to celebrate. We are all very proud of you and we just wanna wish you a great congratulations. Hi, my name is Sandra White and I teach in the RNWSN program and I just wanted to reach out and say congratulations. This is such an exciting time, so proud of you. Congratulations, graduates of Galen College of Nursing. Thank you for choosing Galen. We are sad to see you go, but we are excited for the future that awaits you. Thank you and congratulations again. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Stewart, the chair of the Arts and Sciences Department. Great job on all your hard work. It has finally paid off. Best of luck in all your future endeavors. Hello graduates. My name is Stephanie Trueblood. I'm one of the full-time faculty members in the RN to BSM program. I just want to take this opportunity to wish you the most sincere congratulations on your achievement in the program. I wish you all the best. Hello, graduates. My name is Todd Kane. I'm a faculty member serving the online campus here at Galen. Please accept my most sincere congratulations on a job well done. This is a big day. This is a big deal. You should be proud. I certainly am proud of you. Enjoy this moment and go do great work. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Don't stop here. Feel free to remember Galen whenever you're looking into your masters. Hello, graduates. This is Mr. B, Associate Professor in Arts and Sciences. And I just want to send a quick congratulations to all of you and Wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors and enjoy your celebration. Hi, I'm Monica Potasic, faculty in the online RNWSN program, and I just want to say congratulations. You have overcome hurdles to get here, and today is your day. Enjoy it. Hi, graduates. I am Dr. Chiki Commissioner, and I am one of the Congratulations. Can't wait to see more that you have to come from you as you go forward. Be a leader, be the best you, be authentic. I am proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. I'm Stephanie Pugh, one of the student support liaisons for the program. This is a very, very special commencement to all of us. Over the last year or so, it's been a pleasure to be part of your academic adventure. I wish you only the very best in your future endeavors. Hello, I'm Shanti Srinivas. I'm the Assistant Professor of Arts and Sciences. Today, I send you my warmest congratulations on your graduation, and I wish you all the very best in your careers and happiness in your personal lives. Hello, everyone, and congratulations. My name is Dr. Gina Carney, and I'm the Program Director for the Online RN to BSN program. And I'm just here to extend a most hearty and sincere congratulations on your accomplishment. So go out there, do what you love, and make us all proud. 
which I'm sure you will. Congratulations again. Hi, this is Michelle McElhaney, one of the online student support liaisons in the RN to BSN program. Just wanted to recognize everyone's hard work, dedication, and perseverance throughout the program. Congratulations on earning your BSN. Greetings BSN graduates. My name is Mike and I'm the Healthcare Partnership Manager here in Texas. And I just wanted to take some time to wish you congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. You started and completed this program during a worldwide pandemic, and I think that needs to be celebrated. So congratulations on behalf of uh, myself, our Galen College of Nursing here in Texas. Um, congratulations, and I look to see you all out there in the hospitals. Thank you. Hello, graduates. I'm Sarah Wiesihan, Student Support Liaison for the Arndt BSN program. Congratulations on this amazing achievement. There have been so many people behind the scenes cheering you on every step of the way, and we could not be prouder of you. So you did it, congratulations. Hi everybody, I'm so proud of you. Uh, I know I've seen a lot of you from the very beginning when I was at HPM here at Galen. I'm now working in admissions as a counselor, and so I've talked to you even more and get you started. And I'll happily talk to you again if you wanna get another degree. But I'm very, very proud, and I just want to say congratulations, and you've earned this. Hi, I'm Toy Foster, one of the student support liaisons in the program, and I just wanted to take the time to congratulate our new graduates. You all have been able to persevere and make it to the finish line. I know you all will go on to do great things, and congratulations again. Hello, my name is Dr. D. Allen Millender and I would like to congratulate you on your graduation. It is my great privilege to be with you on your graduation day. I'm sure that today will be only one of the many proud, successful moments that you will have in your lifetime. Best wishes to you and your families as you celebrate this great achievement. Once again, congratulations. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Delaine Volkert, um, one of the full-time faculty in the master's programs. I worked with the MSN students in their last few courses of the program. I wanted to say congratulations to everyone, but a special big shout out to our first cohort of MSN grads. I'm so proud of you. All of your hard work has paid off. So congratulations, all my best. I'm Dr. Brown, MSN faculty, and congratulations on this significant accomplishment. Thank you for letting me be a part of your journey. Good luck to you as you begin this next step. You have so much to give and so many lives to touch. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Brody, and I just wanted to congratulate you all on this wonderful accomplishment. I wish you all great success and good health in the future. Congratulations. Hi, this is Dr. Bright. I just wanted to stop by and congratulate you all on this great accomplishment in your nursing education. I wish you luck on whatever road this part of your journey takes you in your nursing career. And um, congratulations, good job. Congratulations, class of 2021. Your hard work has paid off. I wish you the very best on your journey as a master's prepared nurse. Go make us proud. <laughs>